What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. Today in this short video, I'm going to show you how to do the initial imperfections in the geometry. There are other ways to do it, but in this video, I'm going to highlight only one method. So the initial geometric imperfections are usually modeled through a function. So I go to curve here to make my function, then click down here and you have the function option. Here you can put any function you want. So the initial imperfections can be in the form of 1 minus cosine of x. And now click on enter. You have many periods here, but you only want one of them. So here I say from 0 until 2. And then here I multiply by pi. And then here I have my function. Here you can see I start from 0 until 2. Meaning I want my column or my panel to be 2 meters long. And here is the maximum imperfection. So you can see here 2 is too much. I can modify this curve. I can multiply the whole thing by a number which is smaller than 1. So let's say like this. Or I can make it even smaller. Okay, the actual equations for the initial imperfection might be something different. But here I'm just using this one as an example. You can check in the open literature to see what functions they use for the different parts. For truss and columns and panels, the equations are different. Okay, next is this one, x step. This is to control how smooth is your curve. So if I put 0.2 instead, you can see it became rougher. So to make it smooth, I put 0.01. And then enter and then apply. So here I have my curve. You can barely see the imperfection. Then close. Okay, now I'm going to make a shell here and then I'm going to extrude that shell along this line. So I go to mesh, shape measure, and then I go to here, four node shell. So this is zero, zero, zero. And I copy paste here to make it faster. In the Z direction, let's say it's 100 mm. And in the Y direction, let's say it's half of that. And then create. Here you can see this is the cross section of our column. I can control the number of elements through these two guys. Then I click on accept. Okay, next I want to make my column. So I go to element generation and then I go to solid and then click on this one, shell sweep. And then click by part, click on this shell, the one that we just made. And then sweep path, you have two options. Sweep by line because I have a geometry here. And then segment is how many elements I want. So here I put let's say 100 and then click here. You can see now the line has like 100 divisions. Note path. This one is actually if you want to sweep along an edge, then you can use this one. Then you select the nodes along an edge. Okay, then create and then accept. Okay, now you have the column with the initial imperfection. Next, I want to make another one and this one will be perfect. So I go to shell drag, click by part and then pick this one. The thickness is 2 meters and the segment is 100 and the direction is in positive x. Now create and then accept. Now I go to here, I hide this one. Then I open the FEM parts, I hide my shell, then now I have two columns. I will translate one of them to show them side by side. So translate in Z, and then let's say 0 0.1, and then part, then part ID number 3, and then enter, and I translate. Okay, now I go to model, keyword, and then model check and then the element quality I have few things here so let's say if I check the volume check you can see how the volume is different okay click on mesh in the perfect column here every element has the same volume but you can see here in the column that has imperfections the volume is not the same everywhere the difference is small, but this difference is enough to cause the instabilities 
and then cause the buckling. Okay everyone, that's all for this meshing tutorial. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.